Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Um, disappointing results against Derby. Uh, going to Pete and through this. Dan uh, from Grove Street Gazette. Welcome, mate. Uh, I've like, tried to calm down, tried to take grief, watch and try and pick bones out from this. And I think the more I do, the more it, it don't look good. Um, so, Dan, I mean, some weird things coming out from Gaffer later on, which we'll get onto as well. But, I mean, when I saw it lining up, I don't know what your thoughts on this. Yeah, Herbie Kane wore um, with suspension, service suspension. Mm -hmm. But I'm seeing you no know, Cosgrove. I'm seeing no McCarthy yet. Luke Connell, don't know if he's been protected a bit more. What what, what were your initial thoughts on starting love mate? I mean, if, 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 if I'm honest, if I'm honest, Neil, I didn't really think hoped about it. Mm. Uh, I, I looked at that line up as I do. I mean, you, you you know, there's not many. I mean, there's Adam Phillips came back into frame, but then you still had your regulars, you still had your John Russells, still had your Callum Styles. Um you still had your uh O'Keefe's O'Keefe's to give me at back McCart. These these are now regular players, Watters, Nevani mm. Cole. On it regular that weren't in the old probably would, would kill it because obviously he's replacing uh, not replacing but he's, he's in for uh Robert. for Roberts who's injured. Um I, I I didn't see I didn't see anything that what what does this start, didn't he? Of course he started. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought, it, yeah. I thought it, I just had it in my head that he didn't that <laughs> um but I didn't see I just didn't see I think the problems problems is Neil, um, and we're going to probably get on to this. Is that the way? It's more of the way that we approach games rather mm. than the actual personnel within that. Yeah, within that setup. Um, but yeah, I'm sure we're going to get on to that. But yeah, I, I mean, I didn't did I look at it and did I look at it and think, is this the lineup that's going to win? I think the problem is is the you know that we can go into a game, we can go into a game and win it with that personnel, and then we can go into the next game and get completely battered. Which is that's the issue mm. we're having at the moment. Mm. Um, but yeah, that starts off yeah. right at the bottom line up. Yeah, I mean, going to uh, you know Derby, it's always a tricky ground to go to. Fair enough, I, I get that. Um, again, looking at first half. What's some way of calling it first half? And I'm not making it skills for Barnsley. I mean, referee didn't cover sin and glory on quite a, a lot of things. Uh, that did give me foul. I mean, got clean to cart. Not even a, a talkative tip. Uh, Derby can't play. They, they, like, they were flattened him. Uh, not even a booking or out, bizarrely. Is that like that, that Collins that Collins had? That nerd? Yeah. Like he got booked for that. To be, he got booked, but I, I did look at that Neil. I'm thinking, Jesus, he's gone into that a bit heavy, hasn't he? You know yeah. what I mean? I do. Yeah, he's. Uh, I did see him get. I did see him get a yellow card for that. But there, there were a couple of challenges that were, and I think penalty were very dubious. Yeah, I'm just going to get onto that. I mean, I watched it. I really watched it back on that. And do you know my issue with this is, is that he kind of. I half expect it, it's been going for Barnsley. But I'm looking at the Barnsley players from it and nobody really complains at ref. So Yeah, I, like, yeah. I mean that that that's yeah, I I'm you glad know. you noticed that because I did as well. Um, because when Williams were down on Fluid, he's like flung his head back on Fluid if you say, Oh god, I've got but I didn't I didn't see him really protest his innocence or, or to give news around him or any old, old defenders, Barnsley players really sent to like yeah, accept it and walk away from I'm thinking well, did Williams do all of you know what I didn't see at all? And I'm thinking mm. we're missing that kind of player. I don't, like when you saw Penn at, at first, I thought it was like no, it? I thought we were going well, to get to be fair. I didn't, um, I didn't see anything in the penalty. I was shocked that the there weren't more protests from any of our lads. Mm. But I think, I think this is a problem in general, Neil, and this is obviously going on to. One of the criticisms, um, I, I mean, we look at those players 
And this is one of the things I will bring up. I've just got, I've got a bit of a list with me. You, you know, yeah. it's they don't seem to be out there. You know what I mean? That that, and we were talking about this, and I feel like it's. I feel like I'm going over like a rocket. I could speak about Derby performance, and I could go into detail about mm. that specific performance. But if I'm honest, Neil, it feels like I'm going over an old old ground, and it, it and I'm I'm I'm. Before I came on, I'm thinking I'm just going to bore people, and but it, so I'm going to try and talk about things as a collective. And one of the things we picked up as a collective from the performance, from some performances, and they are some performances because we've been inconsistent in that we have won games. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking at it and I'm going, and, but you know, one of the things is they just look lost out there. They're just yeah. like, oh god, and they look really sluggish, and you can see that with the way that they're on the ball. It's not instinctive. They're having to slog ball about at a really slow pace. They get intercepted, then they run out, and then it's a case of they're hitting his on break. Uh, Mendes Lang played fantastically mm. for that bit, and he tra- causes numerous problems yeah. um, throughout the game. Uh, and and it, 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 the, the slog back, then we'd probably get it out for a throw in or a corner. We'd mark his men, and then it would just like that all game. We tried to get it out of our area again. Tried to that slow build up, get get uh, intercepted, uh, intercepted, and then go back there. It was late in Orient all over again. Yeah, late in Orient were a prime example of when that happened. Um, I think the difference with late, and this is absolutely no disrespect to late in Orient, we played a team that is well drilled at this level. Mm. Um, You've got Orians in there, Mendes, Lang, Collins up front. You know, they're not going to take any prisoners, and they didn't no. take any prisoners. Um, and and that 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 was undoing. You know, um, when you've got a side that's willing to take those risks, and the re and when you take risks, it normally shows you're confident. So when you play teams like Peterborough, Oxford. Derby, um, to some extent, late in Orient as well. I know they ain't top 10, but the are quite a well drilled mm. side. Mm. Exited to a certain extent because they caused us problems. It crossed bar a couple of times. Um, you know, these are side, uh, Portsmouth, they're going to come out, and because they're confident, they're going to move a little bit more out of position, and that's going to be the one that's causing you the main issue. Mendes Lang, for example, they were attacking mid, but he was drifting off to left. Oh, bro, I love it. Yeah. He would just, he would just like so, like wanting to get onto that ball, uh, getting onto that ball because, and he wants, he knows where the areas is to create chances. And unfortunately, mm. that is our undoing because yeah. we are incredibly rigid, and we only seem to be coming out of position and drifting out of position when we're defending. Mm. Um, I yeah. think the Russell. I think the Russell incident was a prime example of that. And I said the Russell incident. Killip's made a good save. I'm, I'm feel. I feel a bit sorry for Killip actually because I think he mm. was getting very unfair stick on um, on social last sure, night. Sure. Yeah. You know. Um, but yeah. Um, but he, he's made a good save. Russell's your defensive midfielder. You track back into box. And I know that he's, you know, he's probably going to, that's probably never going to happen but, in a million years, but you just make sure, you yeah. just track your runner back. You think nobody's marking him, I'm running with him. Yeah. And it's not basic football, but it's just, it's just having that know-how and feeling that the, the players feel that as if they can do that. Mm. And at the moment, you don't feel that they, you don't, don't feel like they can, and it, it's 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 frustrating and it's sad to see. Yeah, I mean, first half, if I'm being fair, a bit of a I say a bit of a ball fest, if I'm being honest, apart from penalty incident, and mm. I think when they went one no top derby, <coughs> excuse me, um, I just didn't see enough creativeness from our side, and like what you said, the derby, they had the kind of leaders i'm not going to say experience because people's spinning around and said all that but you've got the kind of 
the character and leader from the Derby side, they know how and what to do. Run into position like you said, they create an opportunity. You know, they knew what to do. We didn't. We, and like I said, we looked, we looked rigid. We looked, yeah. I don't know, and I've seen things on social saying as, you know, Collins lost some uh, players' confidence as he lost some at dressing room because it's some at players' fear. And I think it was the third goal. We'll get on about the goals. But I saw about the, uh, a few things about Killip. I thought it was a bit unfair, to be fair, because um, I think it was the third goal. They did pull off that save. And I've re-watched it back and re-watched it back. But uh, at the time, it looked bad on our players tracking back. But when I've re-watched it back, I'm thinking, is it being allowed to chest the ball into the net? Is, but there's, I think there's about five bounds of players in box mm. compared to the Derby's three. And it's literally looked up in air and we've watched it and allowed it to drop down and it's just sitting back at bloody net. And I'm thinking, why is De Gibney? Why is Cadden? Why is Russell? Why, why are we just like watching it as if it's like in slow motion? Yeah. I'm like, what the hell's going off here? And again, it's the rigidness. What what baffled me, what baffled me, and I'll say it now and we'll come on, we'll go back to the game, is about when <sighs> Collins is when he come out with this on Radio Sheffield, up until third goal, I didn't think we were out in it. I'm like, what the hell? Have you been on drugs or something, mate? Because mm. that game, it were embarrassing. I'm thinking, until third goal went in, I didn't think we were out in between. Uh, nothing we in between we the well. teams. I'm like, what We were well, we were well what out of moment, moment one. I, I mean, feel sorry for the fans that went down. Two and a half thousand fans. Fantastic support, by the way. Fantastic support. And to be dished up that kind of... Dross. I, I, I would have expect him after Ocean game for last to be going out of here and actually being like this is a game we've got to really show what we can do. And he fouled. Mm-hmm. We didn't it didn't look like we were in it. We we like disinterested. Josh Benson coming off the bench and three, four, five minutes later going back off, seat no. I'm like, what the hell's going off at club here? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, that, that that all happens. I mean it you know, we weren't in it. I, I get that managers have to go in there, especially after a bad defeat and stick up for lads and say, you know, and say, listen, you know, these games happen, you know, bad day at office, blah, 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 blah. But I, I mean, that comment of, uh, I, I've got to admit, I, I, I take absolutely no joy. And I, I don't, I don't mean this sincerely. I don't take any joy in slandering players or slandering managers. I don't. Because end of the day, they're a representative at club. Yeah. yeah. And I want them to do well because that means the club does well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But there's there has to be, you know, when you when you make comments like that in an interview, comments like that were not in it from 2-0. We weren't in it from moment one. You could tell Derby were a threat. And the way that you show that you're a threat and the way that you show you're in it is by causing Derby problems. And we caused them zero problems. They looked incredibly comfortable all game. Mm. There is times where I've watched Barnes lose 3-0. There has been plenty of times I've watched Barnes lose 3-0. And I would say that, Okay, if we had this chance or this shot just went a little bit more yeah. to that side, yeah. goal goes in, changes dynamics at game is slightly. We 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 weren't anywhere near the level that Derby was showing. They were so comfortable. Mm-hmm. That was to me a game where you look at it and you go, we need to switch up formations, we need to show, we need to pile on intensity yeah but i think that 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 there lies the problem there lies the problem are we able to switch things up well, in the middle yeah. of a game or are we able to even switch things up at the start of a game going mm-hmm. on what we've seen in previous games i mean i'm looking at this and like i said to you neil i'm i'm exhausting the excuses i'm exhausting and, and I, i'm just saying same i come on here and come on here yeah. quite a bit as you know and i'm saying yeah. it's slow it's rigid we're not you uh, you know we're not utilizing um we're not utilizing as midfield uh, as midfielders 
we're not utilising as that second striker, mm. uh, which can be a little bit contemptuous, which we'll get on to in a minute. But but we're not getting the goal. Oh, you know, there's 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 one goal scorer out there, and that's Devante, and that's a problem. Yeah. And and um, we're trying things out wing backs too often, and we're trying, you know, and. and and I'm saying this every game, and it's like a broken record. And if I'm saying it every game, if you're saying it every game, if fans on social are saying it every game, so much got to change. So much got to. So much got to. So much got to give. Now that's going to. People are going to probably look at me and say, "Oh, well, you're all for sacking Collins. You're all for sacking it. You know, you're all for getting rid of this and getting rid of that." Or, no, I'm getting. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm saying there is time to change this up. Um, yeah. And, and go back to drawing board a little bit because mm. I think that's what's needed. Um, you know, we have won games, and I'm not disputing that we haven't. The, there's an evidence there that's very clear, but the truth of the, the truth is is that we were ninth this time last season, right? We were ninth. We'd just gone off a bad run of games. Mm. Mm. But the one thing that that everybody weren't, you know, having these discussions. It, uh, we weren't having, well, we weren't having these intensity in these discussions were because we just, well, early in the season, we've got to draw at Ipswich, a very good Ipswich side. Anybody who watched that game mm. could yeah. say that we, we matched Ipswich that day and mm. they were the better side. They were a better side as in the regards of quality on the pitch. Mm-hmm. We'd beaten Sheffield Wednesday, who we knew that we were going to be up there. Charlton, we'd beaten Charlton. We'd got some good. We'd got some good wins, um, and we were caught, and we were showing a level of confidence that is not there. That level of confidence is completely just looks like it's gone. And yes, yeah. and to say we're seventh in league and looking when that confidence is gone, I'm looking at thinking if we lose three or four games here. It's not going to disintegrate before his eyes. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because I've seen some people on social saying, you know, well, people wanting Collins out and this other. And again, where do you go? Collins will be out. We're back to square one again. It's going to be rejig. And the thing is, and we'll get on about uh, lead up to it right now. So for me, the formation. I, I, I'm questioning players like now, and and some. I think some of the players have got to take accountability and responsibility for own for own doing. Williams is not a centre back, and I've said this in previous video before. Why are we playing a player out of position when his favourite position is right wing back? We've got Shepherd, who's an actual central defender on bench, must be thinking what he's got to do right to get in uh, start eleven. But Conor McCarthy will only play in cup games. So he must be knocking on the door for, for a call up. Cosgrove got sent off against, I think, Leighton Orient and he's like a look of frustrated player. He had a looking since. So if his players there, I'm thinking, you know, Kunde is still un- unavailable for some reason. Benson's in and out, obviously, with injury issues. So I'm like looking there and I'm thinking, why, why are we not playing Shepherd in? Why aren't we not putting Shepherd at back three, who is, is his natural centre defender? Play. Williams and his favourite right wing back position because he's, I don't think he's going to take captains off him. And by the way, I don't think, and this is no respect to Williams, I don't think he is a captain. What I'm, what I'm seeing on pitch, I'm not seeing anything to rally the troops and motivate mm-hmm. and grow his sleeves. But I'm not seeing that one bit on the pitch. So I'm not just singling Williams out. Anybody on the pitch, I'm not seeing anybody really take a grasp at the game. Then you, you like looking up further up pitches like, oh, I'm playing in this position. Oh, are oh, we playing behind the front two? Oh, are we playing as a front two? It's constantly changing round every time. Yeah, I get it that uh, Kane were out, was suspended, but playing behind the front two, it's either going to be McAtee or it's Styles or it's Phillips. Not settled one bit, so nobody knows what's happening. Then you've got front pairing uh, uh, two, Devante Cole, like you just said there. He <laughs> took him out, God forbid, took him out. Our goal threat's gone. We're either putting him up front with tight pick, Watters. We're uh, chopping him and changing sometimes with Cosgrove or and over. It was no consistency here. And 
in the second half, when he, when he tried to change, going back to a back four and all of a sudden Williams went into central defending midfield role, I'm thinking, do you actually know what kind of formation or personnel you want in your side 11? And up until the Ocean game, and this isn't me just saying this, when he come out with another comment on Radio Sheffield, by the way, and he got asked about the Ocean game, he said, it were a pretty strong side to 11 bat. Um, we expected a few more changes, but I'm still learning about the players. It's evidently to, for me to see that he's still learning about the players and what, what he's going to pick, always going to pick him what position. And that's the worrying thing for me is this, is that League this this League One is very, very poor. And it's like literally one win can alter where you are in the league from probably well, like, like, down to well, the table. Well, let's put this into contrast, Neil. I'm going to put it into context for you. Well, if you don't mind, that sounded mm -hmm. very patronising. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put a bit of context in there. We've got twenty. We've got. Um, I think it's twenty-seven points we're on at the moment. Yeah, twenty-seven yeah, yeah. points. All of them, at this moment in time, were gained against sides that's below the tenth. Hmm. All yeah. of them. Yeah. Anybody in that top ten, we've lost to. Mm -hmm. Our job. <laughs> and, 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 and there we are. You know, there is a big gulf in difference between, I and mean, we, we're not mainly talking about quality. We're talking about, we, we, we're talking about, a, and let's be honest, money talks. You know, we're talking about a massive gulf in finances here mm. between, let's say, a club like us and a club. That's uh, where we beat oh well, Shrewsbury. Yeah, the, the just is, and yeah, yeah. and some would say that ain't fair. It, it unfortunately, it's the way of football. The the players that we can afford, we sh should be able to be beating, beating sides below us, and that's not the issue. So <laughs> it it's sort of. I'm not. I'm not sort of surprised that we we beating sides that are low. That we're not, that we're beating those sides because we've got the resources to do so. But you know, when you've got the big challenge to the big challenge to a side is being able to match the sides that's on their level or higher. And we can't honestly say that we we're, we're doing that. We, the, 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 you know, the evidence is there in front of our faces, unfortunately, and Collins knows that. And I think that just going on to a, a thing about learning, learning about the squad, uh, learning about the team's comment. I, I had a quick look last night, uh, and, I, and I tried to have a look at Neil's sort of history with with, with Tampers, and yeah, no, yeah. Just not disregarding his achievements with Tampers. Um, but the one thing I'm kind of noticing is that we've kind of evolved into a side that's gone from having quite a small core group of players to having quite a lot of players that are in contention to start. If so, we've got. So we had a quite, you know, under um, under twenty ones did incredibly well last season. Mm. They're probably knocking on the door. I mean, in midfield alone, you've got Phillips, Styles, Kane. That's a quant That's a quagmire because you've got to pay one defensive midfielder. Yeah. So Russell's automatic. But then even with Russell, you've got Connell, Ackroyd. Then you've got Watt for Watt's position. You've got McAtee who can sometimes play up front. Even though he's more an attacking mid, you've got McAtee, Jallo, Marsh. They're not right wing backs. You've either got Cotter, Cotter or Keith. If Laparta gets, if Laparta gets fit, then uh, and comes back from injury, then you've even got Williams to throw into the mix. It's difficult. I think people don't realise this. And it's like the same debate that you have with an England squad and Southgate as mm. you're always going to have that person at back and you're saying, what the hell do I need to do to get picked? Or fans saying, what the hell they need to do to get picked? Yeah. And I think it's 
maybe Collins, and there's no there's no shame in admitting this. Maybe he's struggling with that, having that big call, having that big group of players that's all contest contending for those for those places. Mm. Um, and it's difficult to manage. It, it it's a, it's a, there's been some top class managers who's been caught out with that. Warnock mm. Warnock's a fine example of that. Mm. Warnock Warnock even admits himself that he likes taking teams up where you've got small groups that you can manage, that you can kind of motivate and all that. When you're up in Premier League, Warnock says, you know, I struggled because we're making signs, we're making big signings, we're making, you know, we're making big signings, we've got in, you know, we're getting new players, we're getting uh, um, players are wanting more wages, players are wanting, you know, the, all these, and Warnock's even admits himself, he struggles with that. So I would imagine that Collins is having the same problems. Um, but I, I think that I think that's why we're having Marsh. We're sending Marsh on a one month loan. It's like, oh, it's because I'm not sure about him yet. Mm. And then you've got like, you know, Matty Wolf. Where, where is Matty? He's still out injured. He's on, he's on way to come back. Well, uh, no, he's on way to yeah. come back. So you've got that at back of your mind. Then you've got, you know. It, it's it's difficult, and I'm just wondering whether that's playing a part. Mm. Um, and th this is the reason why we're seeing such sort of and changing, and we're not seeing any any sort of consistency. But you know, it, again, it comes into. I think you know, I, I'd be looking more on looking more at the way we approach games more than more than that. But yeah. I, I think that does play a part. Do you think? I mean, again, back to the Derby game. I mean. I think he even have been playing to this morning. I don't think Barnsley would have been in chance for you to score. You know, no, they really offer a threat they, at all. Yeah, they would have scored a number seven probably. Yeah, um, seven. and I'm looking at such as like Collins, and not just Collins. Like they, they all set up like now. Um, for a lot, of, I, I think knee jerk reaction. People say Collins you need to be out and he needs to do this and he needs to do that, but realistically. All being well, it can turn round and change. We if I'm being honest, yeah. if I'm being honest, I hope it does. I hope it does because bearing in mind he's moved over from America with his family over here and he's want, wanted to make this a success. Obviously, he's at Barnsley. We don't want to do bad, we wanted to do well. But if I'm, I mean, I'm looking at table, Barnsley in six, uh, by goal difference from Derby County. Um, uh, you go down to 12, we come 122. Realistically, how it sounds awful. This so this Carlisle game has been uh, postponed, so obviously mm. it's going to fluctuate a bit. Other fans, other fans, going to lose patience and like I said, you know what we need to change, or because I could see probably going to New Year come January, say Christmas. We obviously it's tricky period, and we're going to be semi mid table. Is the pressure going to be on Ben for a change, or is it going to be this is first season we need to do that, or do you think Boyd will stick with him? What what's your take on that? Well, the dynamics of the board's changed, aren't it? Yeah, yeah. So th this is uncharted territory. Mm. I'd say that if Cali if Cali were were still under contract and not got this Minnesota deal, I think we would have stick still in. Uh, right. yeah. If I'm honest, because Cali would have given him as much time as he possibly could. Yeah. As, as he possibly felt able to. I mean, it, it, it depends. It depends. Mm. And he, he, he's... Fair point, it, Matt, to be fair. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's difficult, Neil. Um, mm. I think that... I think that this is the thing. There's one word that, that plays it in, and it's expectation. If you're a fan that's expecting playoffs or you're happy with playoffs, at the moment you'd be saying, well, why we're on about sacking him. Hmm. If you're one of the fans that's wanting to get the club as high as what you can as in the second in those automatic promotion places, because let's be honest, 
despite last season, we have been quite lucky in playoffs, apart from the ones in the championship. But you know, mm. like, that's another story for another day. Yeah, we 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 do all right in playoffs and we get a day out at Wembley. But the reality is is that they are a lottery. They are very very difficult to navigate, mm. especially after a long season. We saw that against Sheffield Wednesday. It's so it depends on what your expectation is. and it's the same as the board mm. Khalid's going to look at it we don't know whether Khalid's going to look at it in the same way as other board members are and say and I think Khalid will look at things more methodically and say oh well you know there's this there's that you know but we've lost these games but you know data's showing this data's showing that you know we, we just need to make a few yeah. tweaks and yeah. the, we've got a January transfer window coming up we can get some players in which worked last season let's be mm. honest we yeah. did you know yeah. But then we carried out the picture there, you know, somebody might look at it in a different different light and say, you know what, we want promotion and we think on the balance of probabilities that if you're there, we're less likely to get achieved that we're gonna mm. we're gonna pull the trigger. Or otherwise, or they might think the complete opposite and think the same way as Khaled and mm. think we need to give this lad more time. It's difficult. It's difficult, Neil. Um, mm. And I, 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 I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to talk about Collins in the way that we. Yeah, there is question marks over him, of course. Um, it's been less than convincing, but I don't want to see anybody lose the job before they no, have time no, to rectify it. No, no. And, and I, and I know people are saying Collins out, and I get that. Yeah, you know, I saw that. I completely saw that. entitled to their opinions. In the same way that people who want to keep Collins are entitled to theirs. Yeah. It's it's um but it's a balancing act of minute, isn't it? You, you've got to try and you've got to try and kind of stick and give the give the give the guy some time to to sort things out. Um and this is, and also Collins got twelve percent out as well, hasn't he? Yeah, we've got to show growth we've got to show mm. growth in performances and this is the thing you know we both say now well you know I, I post the thing of forever to red and some people got a bit arsy with me about it which is fine um mm. but they said well you know you're only going on about talking about big sides being beat it's like no there were growth inside those growth. performances yeah. and and when you when you keep getting performances that are the same this, the same level, we've got the same problems. We've got, you know, utilizing center at pitch, not using that second striker, you know, slow, lackluster, rigid. Players look, or players look not um, like they're not present. You're gonna, if you have these problems consistently, you're gonna have people on your back because it's yeah. not showing that you've got growth. If you're managing somebody in a company, and they kept making the same old mistakes, you know. And you were a manager, and you're thinking, right? I think I think I've gained enough chances mm. at Pop. I mean, you know, you need to go. And yeah. it's all the same, and yeah, it, you know, it's the only thing in football that kind of <laughs> replicates any form of reality in the normal yeah. world. <laughs> That's true. Uh, man at match, I can't come up with, him, but I'm going to get people at match. I'm going to get to two thousand five hundred fans. Uh, Absolutely. I want to get. I want to get to fans. <clears throat> I mean, fantastic sport, and you know, two thousand five hundred going uh, anywhere. Don't matter, Derby or anywhere. Uh, fair play to them. They're going to be going to Warsham, um, which is huge, I believe, in FA Cup. And again, it's. I can't. I can't see any player. What you know, defending any glory, and I'm not being disrespectful on that. I think it started, like you said, we didn't compete. We had, I can't think of a flash of brilliance, you know, apart from free kicking in first day. But I think if you're going to gain anybody a man at match for doing a free kick, it's like, wow. But no, 2,500 fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but for me, it's going to be fans. Uh, the atmosphere that they try to create, I've, you know, I've seen clips we granted, even though we're losing, trying to get it going. For me, it's going to be fans. Uh, we we'll made the journey, and some are coming out early. I don't know. I've seen uh, Taylor uh, on bounds on tour blog, and uh, I saw 
I watch that and it, like he said, this is Vogue going out and you can't blame him because it was just dire and uh, fair, fair play, fair play, call it as it is, you know, yeah. you can't polish it up, call it as it is. So yeah, for me, it's the 2,500 fans that went to Derby. They're getting my people of the match. Yeah, uh, I mean, sometimes sometimes the pubs are safe havens in that regard. Um, yeah. And it's, uh, it's uh, and I've got to admit, I've, I've walked, uh, and I know some people absolutely resent the fact that people don't stay till the end, but I've got to admit, I'm the person that, I'm the person that, that, that leaves to the pub when things are not, uh, when you when it looks like you're staring down the, uh, the barrel of defeat, the barrel, um, yeah. because it's just not worth it. Yeah. Uh, it's not worth it. You, your mental health means more. Of course it does. Of course it does. Uh, so, yeah, it's not been a great weekend. Uh, remember a Sunday. So, uh, respects and everything for that. Great, great to see it. Uh, Derby as well. But it will observe impeccably. Um, so, yeah, not a great weekend. We move on to Orsham and FA Cup on Tuesday. Uh, Dan from Grove Street Gazette, as always. Great to have you on, mate. Some good insights, some good talks, some good uh, debates. Let your comments in sections below. Let you, let, you know, let you know your thoughts about the uh, the poor the poor game at Derby. But fair play to fans that made it and came back. Probably a bit worse for wear. Um, and yeah, not a great weekend. But I'll chill out and we'll get some football somewhere else, no doubt. So yeah, Dan, as always, it's been a pleasure talking to you, mate. Cheers, uh, mate. One thing left to say: you Reds. <laughs>